Hey y'all and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and this is Joe Dallas and welcome back to the 12 days of cleaning. So today we are actually going to be over here in the laundry area and we're going to be cleaning up my little laundry room uh, so to say so that is the project for today in those cabinets it is extremely unorganized and I don't even know fully what's in those cabinets so we're gonna take everything out and figure out a new organization for those we're gonna be cleaning the washer the dryer but I needed something that was gonna be easier and quicker to do today because we have a busier day we also got started way later it's already almost 1 30 i think it's one oh it's 1 15. um so we had a later start to the day and i just needed something that was going to be quick and easy to do today and this is the perfect project for today i still wanted to get something checked off of my list regardless of everything but without further ado let's go ahead and get started i watch you as you drive do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever 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 if you also have a small task to complete in your spring cleaning today then go ahead and do it with me get motivated get moving and get to tackling that small area in your home with you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? the time don't you know that i would cause i'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever 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 i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment Stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know? devotion today we are going to be talking about the second characteristic of the proverbs 31 woman which is that she is a faithful bride so she is faithful to her husband and even if you're not married this can still apply to you because we are all the bride of christ so remembering we're all the bride of christ daily and also if you are married to love our husband well and pray for him and encourage and 
uplift him daily. And then there is a few Bible verses that I want to read here um, for y'all for the faithful bride. So in first Peter chapter number three, verses one through six, it says, likewise, ye wives be in subjection to your own husbands that if any obey not the word, they also may without, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives while they behold you chase conversation coupled with fear Whose adorning let it not be the outward adorning of plating the hair and of weaving of gold or of putting on of apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. And then in Genesis chapter number two and verse 18, it says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. So that right there, you know, tells us that, you know, we are to um, be faithful to our husbands and be faithful to Christ um, and also to to help our husbands and to be his help meet. You know, we're supposed to uplift him and encourage him daily. And we don't want to drag him down. You know, in um, Proverbs chapter number 31, where we talk about the the Proverbs 31 woman, in verses 11 and 12, it says, The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. So our husbands, you know, they shouldn't have to worry about us. They shouldn't have to worry about us being involved in any drama or gossiping or anything or talking our husbands down. I think it's so popular for women to talk their husbands down in today's time, especially. I hear so many women just say negative things about their husband all the time. And, you know, we're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of being like, oh, my husband did this. My husband did that. Blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever it may be. But, you know, when we start to turn our hearts and, and if you truly start studying this out, like you're going to feel convicted and you're not going to want to talk badly of your husband because that's not what the Lord talking badly of your husband is almost like talking badly of God. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And if you're the bride of Christ, I mean, you wouldn't talk bad about God. So why would you talk bad about your husband that the Lord has blessed you with? And so surrounding yourself with women that uplift their husbands and talk highly of their husbands. Um, even if there is things that happen because no marriage is perfect. Um, you know, I love my husband so much, but you know, our marriage isn't perfect, but we strive daily to walk with the Lord and the closer that we are with God, then the closer we are together in our marriage too. And then in verse number 12, it says, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. So we're going to do our husbands well. Okay. We're not going to to bring negativity upon him, um, and all of that. And then also in Proverbs 31 in verse 23, it says, her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. So, um, just being uplifting towards our husbands and, and loving on him and encouraging him daily is part of being the Proverbs 31 woman. And I strive to do this and uplift my husband and always help him and encourage him and just love him to the fullest because that's what Christ expects us to do. But that's also what we should be doing with the Lord too. So for supper on this day, I just made a super quick and easy teriyaki um, beef tips with peppers and onions and garlic. And then of course, teriyaki sauce as well in the crock pot. It was super yummy and we put it with rice. Um, and I just wanted to share those clips with y'all because like I said, during the series, you're still just going to be getting everyday cleaning and everyday tasks that have to be completed even when we are doing our spring cleaning. My shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monster Sunday your bed Deep in
If you have any prayer requests, you can always leave those down in the comments below. Or if you have a praise report, I would love to read through that as well. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, then don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you can join the Pendry Home family. I would love to have you over here on my channel. Don't forget to join us back tomorrow to continue the 12 days of cleaning. We're going to be completing another deep cleaning task. And we'll also be talking about the third characteristic of the Proverbs 31 woman for our Bible devotions during the series as well. So I hope to see you guys back tomorrow. Again, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see y'all back tomorrow. Bye y'all.